Hey guys, so this video is going to be for the perfect nude lip. Sorry, it's really distracting. I'm recording this on on YouTube like upload thingy, so I'm trying to look at the camera. I can't even, it's like backwards. Okay, I'm trying to look at the camera so that it looks like I'm looking at you, but it's hard because I want to make sure that I look normal, so I'm trying to look down at the same time. Whatever, okay. I'll try to do it this way. Um, there's a few things I need to apologize for. Firstly, color lighting sucks. I know that, but I'm really excited about this and I wanted people to see it. Second thing, my eye makeup is crazy. I know this, but I was messing around with makeup and I was having fun. Deal with it. I'm sorry, this is not what I normally look like. It's not so far off, but it's not what I normally look like. My eyes aren't normally bright green and filled with eyeshadow. Um, the third thing is, what I'm about to show you, I got the idea from someone else's YouTube video. I can't find it, and I don't know who they are. So, I can't give them appropriate credit for the idea. But, I tried it, and it worked perfectly, and I'm so excited about it, that I, I felt the need to let people know. Like, I really felt the need to do that. So, anyway. Um, so the perfect nude lip. So what I normally do is I take my foundation and when I'm putting it on my face I put it on my lips and then I put some powder over it and it's the same color as my face which is the way that I like a nude lip and it's also matted which is also how I like a nude lip. Like I like it to be like nude. Not like corally like those nude lipsticks but like actually nude. Like not there. And I like it to be matted because I just don't like glossy lips. Like the point for me of a nude lip is for your lips not to be there basically. Um, because I like to do a heavy eye. So, when I do nude lips, like, they're nude. They're not there. So anyway, so I saw on someone's Facebook the idea to use a cream eyeshadow. Specifically the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadows. Sorry, the light went off. Specifically the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow. It looks like this. Um, I got mine at CVS in Not Just Nudes. Um, it has four colors in it. Let's see. Okay. It has these four colors in it. One's like this white, sorry, oh my god, this is so backwards, I can't figure it out. Um, one is like, <laughs> I'm retarded. Okay, one is like, sorry, that was offensive. I apologize. That was not okay. Um, one is like this whitish color. One is a shimmery light brown. One is a regular, like, medium brown. And one is this dark shimmery brown. Um, and, yeah. So, I don't use the shimmery ones. What I did was, I was originally just going to use this one. Um, but I tried it and it was too light. So, I mixed a little bit of this brown in. This, this one. The third one. Um, and it's, like, perfect. Like, my lips are nude. Like, they're the same color as my skin. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I guess, I don't know if this would work for anyone. But considering you can mix the colors together, you can, like, lighten it and darken it. So, it should be pretty universal, I think. I don't know for sure. Um, sorry, I started looking down there again. Um, but yeah, what I like about this better than foundation is that this doesn't settle into your lips and make them look dry and cracked and like an alien, <laughs> um, basically. And if you were to put lip gloss over this, I assume that it would just go over this. Instead of like with foundation, when you put lip gloss on, it kind of like mixes together and it makes it like... It just makes it like this weird, like, gunky, jelly-ish consistency, and then it wipes it off of your lips, and just like, so there's like some spots that are nude, some spots that are lip color, and it just looks, looks really gross, basically. Um, but this is a cream shadow, so yes, it's an eyeshadow, it shouldn't be on your lips, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, it works really well. It keeps your lips, like, moisturized, and, uh, it feels like I'm wearing a lip balm or a chapstick, but I'm not. And there's, it covers, there's a lot of pigmentation. Um, you could probably put a gloss over it. As I said, I haven't tried it. I don't really like glossy lips, so I might not try it. Um, and yeah, this is what I imagine MAC Lip Erase would, should be like, but I haven't heard very good reviews about MAC Lip Erase. MAC Lip Erase. So, um, so maybe not. Maybe this is better than that. So, I figured I'd try the $7 stuff before I tried the MAC Pro more expensive stuff. I don't even know how expensive it is because I haven't been to a Mac Pro store yet. Um, but yeah, so I would suggest trying this. Um, tell me what you think of it. Tell me if you put a lip gloss over it, how that works out for you. Um, and tell me if you use this and then if you don't think it works so well, if you have other things that work better than this. Because 
I am on the search for the perfect nude lip, but I think, I think I might have found it. Or someone else might have found it, and then I copied it and tried it and really liked it. So someone else discovered it, and I found it. Whatever. Point is, try it. Let me know how you like it. Um, I think I'm going to be making more review videos or tutorials or whatever you want to call this. Um, so if you care to see them, if you're interested, um, let me know. And I will make more. And yeah. So have fun with your new lips. Let me know how that goes. I already said that. So I'm going to go now. Okay. I'll see you around YouTube. Bye guys, thanks for watching.